Hi there. This is a um, this can a, kind of be an overview testing video of this unit. I'll pull it apart so you can see the inside of it. This is a, um, a Cube Argus 4000. This is a, a model made in Germany, uh, and it's sold here by Premier or Premier One here in the States. Uh, this came into us from a customer uh, not too long ago, and we got going again. Um, so if you've got one of these uh, Cube Argus 4000 units, you want uh what worked on uh get a hold of us or just look us up on the website online it's uh, fencerfixer.com uh fencer and fixers both spelled with an f is in frank there'll be a link in the description that you can click on and take you to our site but we get free quotes uh 18 month warranties on everything that we work on lightning damage included uh so yeah there you go but anyways, this is what the inside of one of these looks like. This has already been fixed and gone through and everything, so it's all ready to go. Um, so there's the capacitor, there's your circuit board, and there's your transformer. All brands are basically, ideally, the same kind of idea and setup on the inside. Some just do it different than others. This is um, kind of an old school uh, type of board. Um, has um, uh, old school parts, with no digital electronics on it. You know, surface mount things, I mean. There are some... Uh, big SCRs and thyristors th on there and stuff like that but uh basically it's resistors and capacitors and these little bitty dinky things over there where the hell they are um but uh, how this unit kind of works is uh the power comes in over here there's all there's there's uh four uh this is a general idea but there's more to it than this but there's two red capacitors down there there's a blue one here and another red one this kind of a is a gradual like, like most brands call it a multiplier circuit it goes through these capacitors kind of gradually build the charge up and increase the voltage and uh, you got 120 volts coming in but eventually turns it in back into dc voltage going through these capacitors and such and takes that 120 volts ac turn into about i don't know between 300 and 600 volts dc and it goes over to the capacitor here, and it does all this really, really quick. Like every microsecond, it does all this. Um, builds it all up, gets it over to the capacitor. There's a timing device in there with some timing circuitry, and tells it how often to pulse. So it takes all the energy that's stored on this capacitor, say 600 volts or 500 volts DC, snaps, makes it discharge from here into the capacitor through the board and such, and takes that, say, 500 volts, 600 volts DC, high amperage spikes it up to say 6,000 volts low amperage DC on the output so all brands do it in that kind of way some brands just do it differently than others some have little step up transformers to build the charge up to three four five hundred volts and eventually get over to a capacitor to discharge some use these multiplier circuits some use both and some brand, some models use this some models use that so but that's the same idea behind it is is that so um well, let's uh, turn this thing on, show you what it's do doing. Got a little light there that flashes, a little red neon bulb right there, flashing and clicking. And uh, I'm going to put the tester on the output side and you'll see the kind of reading we're getting. Uh, we're getting hold the meter steady. You know about sixty five hundred volts. It's pretty good. Most brands float between five thousand and ten thousand, no matter what size it is. Most brands fall between that range. So now we'll pull a spark jump across here. So, a nice little unit, very basic on the inside, it has a pretty beefy transformer for what it is, but they might use this transformer in other models that they make and sell. So, let's put the cover back on, and it goes on one way, and that's it. So, but anyways, if you've got a Cube Argus 4000 fence charger made by, or sold by uh, Premier One, or if you got any other brand or model of fence charger out there, 
look us up. We have to take a peek at it. We don't charge anything for looking at every free quote. And we put 18-month uh, warranties on everything that we work on. So until the next time, do a how-to video or a show-and-tell video, how one works. We will see you guys later.